it's important that uh, myself, First Lady, be out. Wanted to kind of see how people are reacting to this first day out there and going to some of the business across state. One of the reasons we wanted to stop here today that really, uh, they were one of the leading institutions in the state that really led us from day one on the coronavirus. And a lot of things we learned from here because Springfield was a hot spot early on. And I'm just telling you, when you look around the state as I've had the opportunity to do it, nobody did any better than what they did right here. And uh, really was cutting edge to lead us to kind of how to move forward. And to be able to put the unit together and have that kind of confidence, I think with the fear that was out there in the public's view, was pretty amazing to get something like this done in a short period of time. Hey, just one, I want to tell everybody thanks. I want to take to all the medical personnel for what they've done because it's been a tough road for them. And, uh, and keep in mind, this is all less than 60 days that we've been in this, and it seems like months after months. But what people done during that time, there's going to be a day come where we're going to look back and we're going to see a lot of people did some outstanding uh, things for our state and really set the example for the, for the future. And we're going to be better off after this is over. But We got to realize we got to get the economy going back up. We got about 400,000 people that's lost their jobs, so we got to work on that. We also got to realize too, this virus is still here. It's not going away, so we have to be safety first and foremost for all the people across this state. And we got to reopen at a, at a slow pace, and we got to make sure we're going to do it in a cautiously manner to do that. So. the importance of what it's going to be like for the people of this state in the next couple of weeks. You know, we still have to maintain the social distancing. You still got to avoid the crowds. And you got to understand, at the end of the day, government can't regulate us out of this virus. It's going to take people with their own responsibility to step forward and make sure this takes this on their own. And if people, if you don't feel safe to go out, then don't go out by all means. If you know you're in one of those high-risk categories, you need to be very careful of that. If you've got those underlying health conditions, if you're in that older brackets, you need to know who those people are and just don't take the chances. But I really think people in Missouri understand that all across the state. But the next two weeks are critical, uh, to be right honest with you. We're going to be evaluating this every day, just like we did to get to this point. And, and still, we're going to be talking to the experts in this field to see where we go forward. It's up to each one of us as individuals to see whether the state moves forward or not.